What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI. I have another Dell Optiplex 790. This is the desktop. It's like a slimline. And what we're gonna do is gonna this video is gonna be a tear down disassembly. And first thing you guys are gonna do is remove the side cover panel right here, the clip. Remove that. To remove the side cover panel. Okay, so what you guys need is uh Make sure you guys get yourself a wear latex gloves. Just go to any hardware or any grocery stores, get yourself a latex gloves. And you need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, remove the front cover bezel right here. And there's a little clips right here. Be really gently, you just press them off really gently with your finger like this to remove it. And I'll show you guys the front cover bezel. It's Optiplex 790, and this is the desktop. It's the same height as a mini tower, but slimmer. It's a DT, this is a desktop. And it's Optiplex 790, so we're gonna do a tear down. So remove the front cover bezel. Now we're gonna start off the optical drive, right here, the little clip. A little blue, press it up to remove the optical drive. And you can disconnect the SATA and power. And remove the optical drive, like that, really easy, really quick. Just like that, really quick. So remove the optical drive. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, you guys can see better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'll disconnect the hard drive, Katie. So disconnect the SATA power. Remove the caddy. There's a little clip right here. You press it down gently with your finger. Remove it. And the plastic caddy. You just press it really, really gently, and it comes right off. It's a plastic caddy, remove the 3.5 inch hard drive. Just like that, really easy. Now, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect uh, the memory, remove the memory. And, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the uh, 24 pin right here, the power. And there's a little clip in the middle right there. You guys can see you have to use a finger to release the secure lock on a 24 pin. Right there. Can you see? And it's gonna be in the bottom, so you have to press your finger like this to release the lock, otherwise you can't remove it. So we got that removed, and there's gonna be a four pin right here, the power. I'm gonna show you guys later. I'm gonna remove the heat sink right here in the fan. So use a Phillips screwdriver, remove the, there will be four screws, two in the bottom, two in the top. So this is to remove the heat sink, so disconnect the heat sink, use a Phillips screwdriver. And there's a four pin right here. It will be in the right corner to disconnect the heat sink. Uh, this is the heat sink fan cooler for the processor, you have to disconnect, it's actually a four pin. And you're gonna get that disconnected right there and it has a little clip right here, secure clip, you have to press it down to release the lock. So we got that disconnected and remove the heatsink fan for the processor. Just like that, really quick. Now, you're gonna disconnect the four pin for the power right here. And it has a secure clip right here, the lock right here, you gotta press that right here with your finger to release it. You guys can see right there, it's right, you can just press on it to release the lock. And there's a, this is the fan for the front fan right here, the cooler, it's right there, it's located, so disconnect that too, it's a four pin. So we got that disconnected and that looks like a sensor, it looks like right here, another one right here, you get that disconnected, it's a two pin. Now, we're gonna go ahead and remo uh, remove the Disconnect the SATA cables right here. Both for the optical drive and the hard drive. Now, we're gonna disconnect the front, uh, this is the front, uh, front power, front, power, front panel of power switch right here. It's located in the top right corner, see that right here? It's right there, it's located, so get that disconnected. And this is where the front panel is, the turn on the power on switch right here, it's in the bottom, it's in the top right corner right there where the memory, the last slot right here in the top, that's where it's located. So we got that disconnected, now 
the bottom one of the USB ports, get those ports disconnected. And it comes right off. Really easy, really quick. And we're going to disconnect the internal speaker right here. One right there. And it looks like uh, there's another one in here. So make sure everything is disconnected from the motherboard. There's nothing connected. And what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove right here this little PCI bracket clip. And you press it right here your finger like this to release it. And we're going to remove the PCI brackets really quick right here. It's a low profile. Like that. Get that removed. So here's the PCI brackets, the four of them, low profile. Now, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Disconnect the motherboard and it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There will be total eight screws that we have to remove. So on the top there'll be three screws here. And so on the top motherboard, there'll be three screws. I'll put them here. And there's gonna be one in the middle. There's a screw one right here. There'll be uh, in the middle part, there'll be another three screws here. One right here, one right here, and one right there. Get that disconnected too. So with the other three screws and we only have one, two more screws left on the bottom. One and the last one. Okay now, so let's go ahead and uh, and to do that, we guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the power, power supply and there'll be three screws right here on the back side. They move the power supply, it's holding right here. And so there are three screws in the back for the power supply. Now what we're gonna do is uh there, there's a key of the power cable. See where they connect the power cable right here, the wires. So we're gonna get that disconnected. And it's really easy. You just bent the, right here the clip bends to release the the cables. Just use a screwdriver right here. Really gently. You don't wanna. And there's one another one right there. The clip. You see that? Use your finger like this. Because we want to first remove the power supply before we're removing the motherboard. So be really gently, try to get the wires off. So nothing's connected. And now we're just going to pull the power supply. And there's another secure clip right here. I'll show you guys. It's right there in the bottom. Can you see? And it's right here. You got to press it down with the screwdriver to release the lock for the power supply. Okay. Now we get the power supply disconnected. And you gotta disconnect the sensor here. Looks like this is for the heat here sensor for the power supply right there. So remove the power supply. Now will be the last part, the motherboard. And we're gonna go in and remove the heat, uh, remove the processor here. A little clip right here, you press it really gently with your finger like this to the right side, like that. So just go like this and very gently. 
may have a terminal paste old one you can see here it's coming off be really careful you don't want to get that on the uh, inside the clip where the socket is at be really careful try to get it off before we move the process make sure that see this old thermal compound and get this off because you want you you don't want to get inside the side of the socket okay so we get that removed uh, heats the processor So here's the processor we just removed. And we're going to remove the motherboard, the last part. So here's the motherboard we just removed. Easy, really quick. And they'll, they'll be the last part, guys, is the piece, uh, there's a iron shield backplate right here. If you want to get that removed, just tap with your screwdriver in the back side like this. And it comes right off. Be really gentle. You don't want to touch it this with uh, with your hands because it's got the sharp edges. It will cut your, uh, will cut you because it's really sharp. Be really careful with the latex gloves. So this is the PCI bracket. Now this actually, this is the, uh, the backplate, the iron shield bracket so you guys we got that removed and uh, so that's about it and if you want to remove the fan right here and uh, the fan is right here to get the fan removed it just uh, it's hold by the rubber rubber right here so it comes right off like that just like that we just remove the fan and the internal speaker right here the little clip press it to remove it it's hard by the clip right there so we got that disconnected and we disconnect the back back plate iron shield right here and uh, the wires if you want to remove the front uh, right here the front cover front of the USB ports panel you can get the disconnected sections hold by the one screw right here I just I can't show because I have to move the, the, the camera and so that's about it you guys, uh, this is the teardown of Dell Optiplex 790 desktop, thanks for watching, bye.